Hey Nick, Coach Jeff here doing your follow-up analysis on your serve progress so far. It's also a congratulatory um, analysis because it definitely is way better and looks much better than it did. Um, but we got to be cautious when we say that, right? Because I still think there's another big jump you can make in your progress that you really surprise yourself um, just by working on the fundamentals alone. Um, whereas some t at some point it becomes much more outcome-oriented. Hit this target, hit that target. Um, but I think you still have a little technique to look at, um, which is where I want your concentration that can make a big difference. But as far as, you know, taking it from the beginning, obviously uh, your grip's much better. Over here we see you're on number three, almost a forehand grip. Here you're on continental. Will you stay there? Well, that remains to be seen, but so far so good. Now when you initially take your racket back, yeah, we, all, we see this also looks much better. We see having more of your palm down. Whereas here we see you just very, really quickly initially want to turn those strings to the ball as everybody does. Right now we want the racket to pass over the head. Um, this continental grip is so important for a flat serve and a spin serve. Now you can hit flat without a continental grip. You know, here you're, you're pancaking it, um, but you could hit flat with that grip. But you'll see how your body has to scrunch down and pull in a lot. Um, so with a continental grip, you need it to hit spin and to hit a good flat serve. So that's why I want people to learn spin first. And that's why I obviously you need to be on a continental grip. But we can see here, you know, you still lose this curl um, in the wrist here, Nick, where you're just pronating early. That's going to tighten your shoulder. It's going to lose that, how those body segments uncoil, which is another thing you still need to work on. You need to work on this turning away more from the target, so show your opponent your back. Um, but again, grips better, more continental, leading into the ball more with the edge of the racket. That's what we see all great players do. Um, now we really see the wrong side of the racket swing around much more. Um, that implies that you're gaining racket head speed and that you're loose. But we love to see the edge going more into the ball. And then, yeah, as a result, you're going to be more extended at the hit. We see a straight, you know, now again, on the left here, you could still, now when we talk about having, we want contact for a spin serve on the inside of the hand, um, you'll see here you're still on the outside of the hand. So you're here and your arm's here. You know, we want the arm straight like it should be. It'll be a little bit more extended. And then we want contact here on the inside of the hand. That's, that's the ideal contact for a spin serve which is what I'd love you to be working on a little bit longer, but definitely looking better. Keep working on that palm down motion. Do lots of shadow swings, denying the ball, the strings, and I'll show you a great drill that you can do next time you go out to the courts to help you with that now. Okay, so here's the drill, and you wanna be really close to the net when you do this, because you can't hit it hard, you shouldn't be able to hit it hard, and you don't want to because you could hurt yourself. So just try to do the drill exactly as I'm showing you. I want you to really get in character, really pretend you're gonna hit your serve. And I want you to go through the beginning of your motion, but I want you to come in and tap the ball with the wrong side of your racket. Brain's gonna hate this. It's really gonna give you the feeling of coming around with the wrong side of your racket. And then once you've got that down, I want you to alternate. I want you to come around and go wrong side of the racket. And then I want you to go right side of the racket. So I want you to get the feeling like you're gonna come in with the wrong side of the racket, then at the last minute, come in with the right side of the racket.